Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to clean your microfiber couch. Um, I've had my couch about three years. Um, it's a microfiber sectional. Um, I have a chase lounge and a matching ottoman. Um, it's had a lot of sagging, a lot of wear and tear. I have lots of stains from like food. I don't know, let people eat on my couch, but like sticky fingers from little ones, um, stuff like that. So I really needed to revamp it, if you will. Um, it was really dirty and I was so scared to touch it. I did not want to ruin it. I did not want to pay someone to clean it because um, I felt like, what if they ruin it? You know, it's such, it's a big piece of furniture and it's expensive. I can't, I mean, it's not disposable. You can't, you know, mess it up and go get another one. It's not replaceable like that. Um, anyways, I tried a couple other things and I was really scared because the results didn't come out good. Um, I bought this Resolve multi-fabric at Walmart. Um, and I, it says to try it on uh, the fabric first. So I tried it on um, a pillow that matches my couch on the back of it. It's the same fabric, same material. Um, and it left huge white stains. So I wouldn't recommend using stuff like this unless you test it first. Please test, test it because then what the heck are you going to do if you were in your couch? You know what I mean? um, so anyways, after that I was really scared. So I went to YouTube. I found a really great video how to tutorial, whatever you want to call it, on how to clean your couch. I'm going to put the link below. Um, I'm not going to give all the details. You guys can watch the video and see how I did it. Um, or you can watch her video. Her video is more ex um, explains it more. Mine is just kind of um, a video following her directions. Um, so pretty much I just used my vacuum, I used wool light, and I used polyfill to fill the cushions. Um, so keep watching if you guys are interested. Hey guys, this is what my couch looks like now. This is my living room. So I have the big microfiber sectional with the Chase, um, the Chase couch right there, the Chase lounge, I guess it's called, and then we have the microfiber ottoman. So let me get closer, and as you can see, everything's pretty much brown or some shade of brown and red. So I'm gonna try to incorporate some more colors because. This was how I decorated like three years ago and I want to update it a little. Anyways, you can see the couch. It's kind of dirty. has all kinds of nasty stains on it. And just look at the way the pillows are. They're just, ugh, they're old and yucky. I tried to clean them. And see how the cushion is? It's just really saggy. And I got lots of stains all around. You can even see them. So this is my before. And then even on the, the... Um, ottoman there's lots of stains and stuff so this is my before so I'm gonna go ahead and clean and do everything and then I'll show you the steps so if you guys are interested keep watching okay this is what I'm using to clean the couch just my vacuum um, I bought some polyfill Ooh, I'll keep it like this sorry <laughs> I bought some polyfill at Walmart that huge bag was eight dollars so I thought that was a good deal um, and in there I have my wool light and water. It's warm water. Um, and then on my vacuum, I'm going to use this end of my brush to clean the vac um, to clean the couch and all the corners. And, ooh, there's hair on there. And get all the junk out. Now I'm just going to vacuum all the cushions. I took all the pillows off. I'm just going to vacuum all the cushions with the brush side of the vacuum and get all the loose dirt and whatever junk is on there and then I'm going to vacuum on the inside of the couch. So this is what it looks like now after I vacuumed it. Got all the junk off. There was all kinds of loose dirt. You can see all my lines. You can see all these really deep stains. That's what I'm really trying to get out. Cause they're freaking nasty. So I did the ottoman, all the cushions, and all the back. Now I'm going to start with my warm water and wool light solution and a light colored rag. When I purchased the couch, I remember they told me um, if you're going to clean it, clean it with a light rag or the same color rag because I'm not sure if the color runs or something. I, it shouldn't on towels. But anyways, so I'm going to start cleaning the cushions and I'll show you halfway through that. Okay, so here's the ottoman I did. You can tell the color difference in the couch and the ottoman um, when I wet it. It got a lot darker, but you can look at the water. It's so freaking gross. It's like black. 
So that's really nasty. So I'm going to change the water and start on the rest, and I'll show you when I'm done with that. Here's all the cushions clean. Madly. Oh, it was such a workout. If you want a good workout, clean your couch. <laughs> or come clean mine. It's so, it was so dirty. I mean, filthy. I'm like so disgusted that I haven't done this sooner and I need to do this like twice a year or something to get it really clean and gets all nasty. So now I'm gonna fill the cushions and the weird thing about my couch is the cushions don't come off. See, they're attached, they're sewn. I have a little tear over there, but they're sewn in. So the zipper's underneath, so I'm gonna just unzip it and start stuffing. And I wanna show you this water from just the big Chase Lounge. Look at the water. Filthy, I know, it's so gross. Now look at the couch, the back cushions, they're like stuck. They look so awesome. They look like they did when I bought the couch. <laughs> Not so saggy and I used about 75% of the bag of the polyfill. Let's see if you can see it, oops. Um, so I'm, now I'm just waiting for the cushions to dry and I'm gonna put everything back. See, it looks really nice now compared to what it was. It's like full now, it was like completely flat. And that's how it should look, and it looked when I bought it. <laughs> Still waiting for it to dry, but it's looking better and better every minute. I haven't seen any stains yet on the left from the previous um, stain, so we'll see how it turns out. My house is in shambles now. Now they like threw stuff all over. She was making a fort when I was trying to clean them. So the couch was really easy to clean. It didn't take me that long. I would say hmm, maybe an hour, an hour and a half total with drying and everything. Um, turned out really great. I'm really happy. Um, the results were wonderful. It looks like so refreshing in our living room. Like it looks like that's how our couch looked when we bought it. So the next thing I need to do is buy some more throw pillows and because um, our pillows have gone down the drain. <laughs> um, those big red ones were really expensive. They were like $20 a piece. I got them at Steinmart, I think. Um, but I'm going to look at Walmart and Ross, see what I can find. I wanted to add a pop of color, maybe some turquoise or teal or something like that with the red. Anyways, I hope this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe.